Welcome back to the studio, everybody. I'm Miss Lapka, and this is part three on our series on cave art. Now, we've already used our brown paper bag or brown paper to create our cave wall. And then we also used our pencils to draw out our designs on what we wanted to have on our cave walls. Now, some of you maybe chose to draw out scenes of actual cave life from our early humans and draw and drew pictures of things that depicted their life. Or some of you may have chosen to draw something from your modern life in your cave art. So this is an artist who put a laptop in his cave art parody. Here's an artist who put a stick man with a staff like he's hunting, but he's got a briefcase and a tie. So here's another artist who did a similar project where they have some people carrying bags of groceries. This one here has Buzz Lightyear attacking some antelope. <laughs> it's really it's funny. I like this one. All right, so you drew out your picture. You decided if you wanted your cave art to be modern or historical. Once you were done drawing out your cave design, then we talked about on day two how to make our own caveman paint. I hope you guys had fun foraging and experimenting and being artistic scientists, discovering what makes paint and what doesn't. If you have a good idea of how you made paint, please share your recipe with me. I would love to hear it. Today on our last two days of our cave art series, we are going to be coloring in our cave art. Now you can either use those paints that you made yesterday, or you can use any materials that you have at home, like chalk pastels, oil pastels, watercolor paints, Crayola crayons, or um, colored pencils, markers, anything at all that you have that you can color in your brown paper cave art. There, when you use more than one type of art material, we call that mixed media. So mine's gonna be mixed media. You can do whatever works best for you and whatever you envision for your artwork. And we're gonna do this step for two days. So this should take you two art classes to complete coloring in your whole project. I hope you guys have fun doing it and let's get started. All right, so now that I have made my paints, I've also gathered some regular art materials. I've got some chalk pastels and some crayons that I can use. If you have markers or other materials at home or watercolors, you're welcome to use those. Remember that our, um, our cave paint is optional. If that's something you wanna explore and try to do, please do that. But now it's time for us to decorate our cave wall using some of the techniques of our ancestors. So. I'm gonna be using my fingers like a cave woman, and I'm gonna use a paintbrush, but you could use a feather or something cool from nature or a stick to draw or paint with. And I'm gonna use all my materials from home and also my paints to create a work of art that resembles cave art. So we're gonna be working on this for two days. It should take you two studio classes to be coloring your artwork. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Let's see how we do. So I hope you're enjoying coloring in your cave art. Remember that this step is gonna take you more than one studio class. So don't be rushed. This step takes some time. It may take you time just to decide where you want colors and how you want to blend them together. I hope you noticed today that I used a variety of materials to create my artwork that looks like cave art. We used our plant-derived substances, our seasonings, to create paint such as with turmeric and with chili powder 
and cayenne pepper, and we also had some um, a little bit more earthy paints such as our charcoal from my fire outside and some straight up mud that I made like a cave woman. Um, you also can use your materials from home. Anything that you have that's artsy if you feel like it um, is not required to make your own cave paint if that's not something you want to do. So here's my finished product. At the end, if you want to crinkle it up and make it super um, like crumpled to give it some texture like a cave wall. Hi, Ula. You could do that too. Um, I'm going to leave mine. Mine's already a little bit crinkled because, you know, it's made out of a paper bag. So I'm kind of satisfied with the way mine is. But if you want to roll yours up into a ball and then um, undo it, you could do that too. Come here, Ula. You guys want to say hi to Ula? Oh, the art cat is mad. All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed doing this. I would love to hear if you guys come up with other recipes for making really cool earth paints. So I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have fun painting like a caveman. Bye.